Hello all, welcome back to Remote Sensing and GIS classes. In the previous session, we were discussing some of the major sources of spatial data used in GIS and GPS or the Global Positioning System was one of the major in situ source of spatial data. So in today's session, we will look into what is a global positioning system, what are the major segments of a GPS and some of the major applications of GPS in today's world with some regional satellite systems of major countries. So let's begin with what is a global positioning system. A GPS is a network of satellites that continuously transmit coded information which make it possible to precisely identify the location on the earth by measuring the distance from the satellites. Simply, you can term a GPS or a global positioning system as a satellite based navigation system developed for the military purpose by the United States Department of Defense. GPS is a one-way communication system. It runs at an altitude of approximately 20,200 kilometers. There are 24 GPS satellites orbiting the Earth in six major orbits. Thus, each orbit consists of four satellites. The orbital period is 12 hours of our sidereal time and his highly predictable. GPS has started for the civilian purpose from 1995 onwards in United States. The fundamental navigation principle of GPS is based on the measurement of the pseudo ranges between the user and the four satellites. The official name of GPS given by the United States was Navstar GPS which means navigation satellite system with timing and ranging global positioning system. The United States began to use the GPS from 1973 onwards. GPS is a 24-hour all-weather satellite system. Now let's look into some of the global navigation systems of various nations. The global navigation satellite system is the general term that describes any satellite constellation that provides the positioning, navigation and timing. We call them as PNT service on a global or a regional basis. While GPS is the most prevalent form of GNSS, other nations are also fielding or have fielded their own systems to provide complementary, independent PNT capability. Some of the major ones are is the Beidou or we call them as BDS. The Beidou Navigation Satellite System is a regional GNSS owned and operated by the People's Republic of China. China is currently trying to expand the system to provide global coverage with 35 satellites. BDS was previously termed as Compass. Galileo is a global GNSS owned and operated by the European Union. The European Union declared the start of Galileo initial services in 2016 and is a complete system of 24 plus satellites by 2020. The GLONASS is a global GNSS owned and operated by the Russian Federation. The fully operational system consists of 24 plus satellites. The IRNSS or the Navigation Indian Constellation, NAVIC, is a regional GNSS owned and operated by the government of India. It is an autonomous system designed to cover the Indian region and 1500 kilometer around the Indian mainland. 
the system consists of presently seven satellites and declared to be operational from 2018 onwards the quas or the quasi senate satellite system is a regional global navigation system owned by the government of japan and this covers the eastern asia and the oceanic region the japan plans to have the operational constellation of four more satellites and to expand seven satellites by 2023 now let's look into the major segments in a global positioning system there are three major segments in a gps namely the space segment the control segment and the user segment the space segment deals with the gps satellite system the space segment consists of 21 active satellite system with an addition of three active spare system the orbital height of these satellites is about 20200 kilometers and the orbital period is exactly 12 hours of sidereal time the gps satellites are broadly divided under three blocks the block 1 refers to the developmental stage of gps satellites the block 2 represents the production satellites while the block 3 are the spare satellites there are two different codes used in the gps satellite system namely the p code and the c by a code the p code refers to the precision or the protected code this has a frequency of 10.23 megahertz it has 10.23 million binary codes per second the p code is extremely long and repeats only after 266 days it is available both on l1 and l2 carriers the c by a code or the clear acquisition code has a frequency of 1.023 megahertz hence it is 1 by 10th frequency of that of a p code the clear acquisition code can be used only on l1 carriers now let's look into the second segment of a gps that is the control segment the control segment describes the ground based time and the orbital control prediction the main functions of the control segment are the monitoring and the controlling the satellite system continuously determine the gps system time predict the satellite ephemeris and the behavior of a particular satellite hence there will be a master control station several monitoring stations and ground antennas located around the world to control these gps satellites the master control station is located at shriver air force base in colorado springs which is responsible for the overall management of remote monitoring and transmission sites there are four major monitoring stations located in different parts of the world one in the hawaii other at the ascension island the third one at diego garcia and the fourth monitoring station at kwajalein user segment appropriate gps receivers are required to receive from the gps satellites for the purpose of navigation or positioning the major components of the gps receivers are the antenna the rf session with signal identification and processing the microprocessor for data sampling as well as for processing the precision oscillator the power supply as well as the memory or data storage here are some of the major applications of gps satellites aviation most of the modern aircraft use gps receivers to provide the pilots and the passengers with real time aircraft position 
it also provides the weather condition which the aircraft is operating highly accurate navigation application is needed for ships or for marine system to navigate through the waters to their destination gps application ensure that the channels are clear and no hindrances occur in their path gps is used in the agriculture or the farming sector high accuracy in gps is suitable for the mapping the soil sample locations gps receivers which are now installed in most of the tractors allows the farmer to map their plantations and ensure that they return to precisely the same time when the planting or the weeding of the next season the machineries will effectively operate under foggy or even less visible conditions surveying is one of the another major use of gps that as essential in mapping and may measuring various resources on the earth's surface and underwater it is used in determining the land boundaries mapping the sea floor and finding the changes in the shape of geological or geographical structures gps has first been developed for the military forces around the world it has been used to map the location of vehicles and other machineries especially at the time of emergencies and during the war telecommunication gps is highly useful in the telecommunication services especially the mobile telephones are using this applications to provide its users with accurate reliable and stable in their operations the gps are useful as well as in the road transportation services majority of the users of gps technology are the taxi services what you find here like in uber or an ola services as well as it is useful in emergency vehicle locations school bus gps tracking system commercial fleet management and freight tracking and public transportation monitoring as well as dispatch most of the new vehicles are now fitted with gps from the factory itself gps also plays a very important role and is highly useful in biodiversity conservation systems nowadays you can find the gps system in monitoring the movement and the migratory patterns of endangered species and this helps to prevent in their reduced population these are some of the applications of gps the gps is being used in n number of ways i hope you have enjoyed today's session post your queries or suggestions in the comment box or on the google classroom i wish everyone a great day ahead thank you